This is a brief overview of the engineering section of white box learning for the mousetrap car. And this will just get you started. So basically, when you go to the engineering tab, you need to click on the eyeballs next to the four parts of your car so that they show up. And in our case, we want to get this car set up like it is in the kit. And you notice that it has these rear wheels back here. These are not the rear wheels that come in the kit. Those are called the rear racers. In order to make any changes to your model, you need to hit apply. And so now you can see we have the rear racer wheels on there. Also, we have uh, an aluminum axle and a couple of other changes you can make to get the car started. I'm not going to go into all that. I just want to show you how to do everything. Once I hit the wrench here, I can make changes and then hit apply. In order to get that wrench to go away, I can't just click on it. I need to hit done. Once I hit done, I can have a bunch of these out at the same time. So I can scroll through all of them if that's easier for you. Or you can just have the one that you're working on. Uh, if I want to make this lever arm longer, I would just, let's say it's 125 millimeters. I hit apply and it changes the model. A couple things that you can run into when you're making changes. If I change my front axle, for example, uh, and let me go down here and show you this. If I click on this little rotate icon, I can hold my mouse down, uh, my left mouse button, and I can move the model around so I can see it from different angles. Now this gives me a better view of the axle right here. Also, if I click on the zoom, I can hit the left mouse button to zoom in and the right mouse button to zoom out. If I zoom in, I want to make this a little bit shorter. And if I change this axle length to 50 millimeters and hit apply, you notice it jumped to 64.45. That's because I can't make my axle with less than the width of my chassis rails. Now if I go into custom mode, I can change my chassis rails. It would remember that I wanted 50 and it would move it back down. All right, now you have lots of other tools that you can use. I use the powertrain analysis quite a bit. One thing that we've learned is you need to try to get this powertrain inside this green area. And there's lots of changes that you'll need to make to your car. I'm not going over that right now. I just want to show you some of the tools. Also, my mass analysis. So this is a chart. That's when I hit the eyeball, I see the chart. Uh, so it'll give me a reference, but it doesn't tell me exactly uh, what's changing. If I click on the wrench, I can see the exact mass of each of the parts of the car. So right now my frame is at 6.13 grams. If I'm going to take my axle, I'm going to go back to the chassis, and I'm going to reduce the chassis length down to 200 millimeters. If I hit apply, you notice I just lost about 2 grams of this car. So you know, if we cut off some of the matter, we're going to reduce the mass, and for us it's going to reduce the weight. So you can see some of the different analysis here, and I wouldn't have all these up. They just get in the way. Only use the ones that you're uh, working on at the time. Otherwise, it's just going to clutter up your screen. Once you've got a car design that you like, or at least that you want to test out, go to File, go to Save. You can name it. So I'm going to just call this Mousetrap 1, and I can also say this will be my baseline model and I can put notes in for each of the changes I can just save a working copy or I can save it again I can save it into the competition and that will allow me to race the car if I jump over to the competition I can see how it performs you see I'm staged now I can be contender one and contender two so I can race against myself or if there are other student cars here I can race against someone else I hit start and it's going to bring us up to the starting line. But eventually what will happen is the race will start and we will see how well this performs. Ours didn't go anywhere at all actually and, uh, and I'll tell you a little secret. It's because I don't have any rubber bands on my rear wheels so they're just spinning out right now and I didn't go anywhere. But more importantly is you see this information about the results of the race and I can compare my car with the car that I raced with or with any of my previous iterations. Right now my car is out of spec and it's stalled. Stalled just means it didn't make it to the finish line 
Out of spec means there's something wrong uh, with my car that's putting outside of the specifications for the design. I'm going to be able to find that out by going to outputs. You can see outputs right here next to competition and go to design specifications and here my problem is with my wheelbase. My wheelbase is too short and my rear axle position that is too far away from the back. So let's go back to engineering and let's get it inside of, of spec. So I'm going to rotate around again so we can see the car. So the distance from rear is the rear of the vehicle to your rear axle. Right now it's at 25 millimeters. So that's, sorry, position from rear. It needs to be between 9 and 20 for this race. I'm just going to go ahead and make it 20. I hit apply, moved it back just a little bit. Okay, you can see that my wheelbase is out of spec. My wheelbase is the distance from the rear axle to the front axle. And right now, the minimum for my competition is 165 millimeters and I'm at 150. So I need to make a change. I need to push these wheels out a little bit further. So let's go here to the front axle, my wheelbase. I'm going to make it 165. Apply. Push those wheels out. If I go to my outputs, I should see that I'm within spec now. Uh, just to make a quick uh, another change, that just brought me into the specification. I'm going to make one more change here and I'm going to go ahead and on the rear axle, I'm going to put the rubber bands on the back. Again, I need to hit apply, but that's going to give me some traction. And I want to go ahead and race this now and see how much difference that makes. It's a good idea to only change one or maybe two things. Uh, and then check how your car performs. If you change too many things, you won't know what actually made the difference. Whether it was good or bad, you won't know what made the difference. So it's good to race a bunch of times and have a bunch of iterations. I'm going to go ahead and save this here. And here I'm going to put added rubber bands to rear axle. Okay. And then I can save it into the competition again. I can go back here and I'll race one more time. I can reset. I'm one and two. Hit start. You notice just by putting the rubber bands on, I got halfway down the track. I'm not showing you how to build your car, I'm just showing you how to use the application. You get to decide how to build your car and get it across the finish line. But now you can see uh, my traction has gone up because I put the rubber bands on there and you can start to compare some of these. I'm in spec. I still stalled out, but that's going to be up to you to design your car to get across the finish line. I hope this was helpful. Have fun designing your car.